Hello SEO professionals and welcome back again to this channel where I help you navigate the complex world of SEO and digital marketing. That's it. Today in this tutorial, I am going to teach you all about the LSI keywords. So I will teach you everything from what is it and why is it important and how you can use LSI keywords within your content. But before that part of the tutorial, uh, let me quickly show you some results that we recently have been able to achieve using the same exact on page SEO strategies. So as you know, we recently got on a new SEO client and it has been almost two weeks. And now just look at this screenshot and look at the spike or the boost in the organic impression. So what we did, we simply implemented the same on-page SEO strategies that I am going to teach you in this section number three of this advanced SEO course. So what we done, so this website was not ranking well for some targeted keyword. So what we have done is to simply created some supporting content using the LSI keyword technique, producing more and more content, and now just you know like fixing the title takes meta description takes and the header takes image all takes these are the results that we have been able to achieve within two weeks so anyway let's get started with the actual uh you know topic that is meant to be discussed in today's tutorial but before we get started please make sure you subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon so that you get notified instantly for every new tutorial on this channel also i really want you to support this channel and for that what you can do is to simply like and share this tutorial with your peers and friends so now let's get started without further ado all right guys so as always the first question that may spring up in your mind is that what the LSI keywords are. Now, these are nothing but in simple words, LSI keywords are related terms and phrases that help search engines understand the meaning of a web page content. LSI stands for latent semantic indexing, which is a fancy term for how search engines like Google understand the context of a web page but in simple words, LSI keywords are simply the related keywords or the related search phrases. Okay, so LSI keywords are not just synonyms, they are words and phrases that are closely related to the topic of the page. So that is simple, right? And you should not make it more complicated. In simple words, the LSI keywords are the related keywords or the related search phrases when you find out doing keyword research for your website anyway so let's go to the next question why are lsi keywords are so important for seo right after all if you're learning lsi keywords you should also know that why lsi keyword is uh, after all important for seo right so that's it including relevant lsi keywords in your content can improve your website's visibility on search engines lsi keywords help search engines understand your website's theme the main topic which can result in higher rankings for website in the search engine results pages so by using lsi keywords you can also avoid keyword stuffing, which is when you excessively repeat the same keywords in your content, leading to a penalty from search engines. Okay. In a nutshell, the importance of LSI keyword is in SEO is because it helps search engines to understand the main topic of, uh, you know, your website or the main theme of a single web page on your website okay okay so now let me show you some examples of lsi keywords there are basically two examples in the first example you can see our main 
target keyword is fitness okay now what could be the lsi or related keywords lsi keywords for a fitness keyword could be exercise workout gym health nutrition weight loss strength training so this is the example number first in the second example as you can see our target keyword is uh you know gardening right but the lsa keywords are plants soil fertilizer compost tools landscaping flowers now taking a look at these two examples now you properly understand what lsa keywords are like i said in the start of this presentation lsa keywords uh, lsa keyword is a fancy term that is being used but to make it more simple these are simply related uh, keywords or search phrases so how you can find out lsa keywords basically there are several tools available online that you can use uh, to find out lsa keywords some of them are popular and some of them are not but it depends on your level of expertise in seo or keyword research because when i'm doing keyword research i quickly understand what is a related keyword and what is not even though if i don't have a paid tools because i have been uh, you know years in seo but if you're new in the start you may need some paid tools to help you with that but don't worry uh, i'm still going to show you some uh, uh, tools or ways you can find out some uh, you know related keywords so let's dive into it the first way you can use is to use you know google auto suggest or auto complete so sorry there is a typos in the name of the google but you can still understand the context of what i am saying as you can see in this screenshot whenever i search for a keyword that is called fitness now i still not performed a search i simply typed in the search bar of the google and once again clicked on it then google quickly showed me all the related keywords so this is one way you can use to find out lsi keywords or the related keywords in other uh, you know um, in simple terms so this is one way you can use to find out lsi keywords for your target keyword the second option you can use is to use google related searches now you may have noticed that whenever you perform a search on google and sometimes you scroll down to the bottom of the page you can see that uh, as shown in the screenshot most of the time google shows you some related searches so these are these closely related searches which google thinks are you know closely related to your target keywords so this is the option number two which you can use to find out the lsi keywords in fact to be honest i'm using the same two strategies to find out lsi keywords now the third option is a paid option but still if you have the um, the budget and you can afford it then you should go to towards the lsi graph this is a tool which is specially designed for finding out lsi keywords now here is a snapshot of their homepage. Uh, so anyway you can go to their website and uh, buy any of their um, subscription and um, you know and use lsi graph for your uh, you know uh, campaigns so the next question that your mind uh, i think would be how to use lsi keywords okay now at this point you understand that you have found out some cool uh, lsi keywords the next step for you as an seo professional is to use them wisely within your content or on your website in order to help search engines properly understand the context of um, your web page of or your website so there are basically uh, you know three simple steps you can use the first one is to use lsi keywords in your headings and subheadings but once again you should never use the um, the, the 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 related keywords in your h1 tag because the h1 tag is the place where you will be putting your main target keyword like in the previous slide i showed you my main keyword was fitness so in the h1 heading i will use the fitness and in the subheadings i will be able to use some related or lsi keyword second you can use lsi keywords 
within the um, body of your text but only where that makes sense okay you should not stuff the keyword you should not do uh, keyword stuffing otherwise you're going to be penalized by search engine and the third is again the same thing don't stuff let's say keywords in your content unnaturally okay like i said you should be doing it only where it makes sense so this could negatively impact your seo if you are doing uh you know lsa keyword stuffing so that's the end of the tutorial and now i showed you in very simple steps how you can find out lsa keywords how you can use lsa keywords within your website and also i showed you what is it important for your seo so look lsa keywords like i said or uh, a fancy word uh, but if you are any professional so you should simply think of it like related keywords or related search phrases so in the, in this slides let me just go back to the slide to show you out of the examples so in this example as you can see my target keyword is fitness and now all other are the related keywords or the lsi keywords so that is simple by using this one trick this simple strategy you can truly boost the visibility of your website of your web pages like i showed uh, the results in the start of this tutorial these results were only able uh, due to these on page seo strategies including lsa keyword strategy uh, title tag strategy keyword placement strategy which i am going to teach you one by one anyway that's the end of the tutorial and i hope you may have found it very very useful once again if you have not yet subscribed the channel please make sure to subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon so that you get notified instantly for every new tutorial anyway so thanks for watching thanks for your time i will see you in the next one